Each one of these drums looks kind of like this. Inside this white pole barn, 12 miles from the WSU campus in Pullman, there are dozens of steel and cardboard barrels filled with volcanic ash. This one came from the Lincoln School in Pullman. Ash that was quickly scooped up from rooftops around Pullman and Yakima following the eruption, placed in plastic bags and preserved to be used in research. There you go. First time it's seen daylight in 40 years. The bulk of the ash that we collected was here in Pullman. It was on the roof of one of the biology buildings because it's a flat surface and it was easy to sweep it up. Dick Mack is an emeritus professor at WSU School of Biological Sciences and was teaching on campus when St. Helens erupted. For the next several years, he and his department used the ash to study its impact on the region's plant life. And was there any like big or key takeaway from those studies that you learned from it? Well, I'd say the biggest takeaway was that the response uh, by plants to the ash varied greatly. And it basically had to do with the stature of the plants, how big they were. Simply put, he says, small plants that were buried died, but larger plants seemed to be okay. So the damage was uh, fairly temporary. Were you surprised by that? Yeah, I was. I thought that uh, we didn't know what was going to happen, frankly. <laughs> Today, 97 barrels of ash remain. Lewis Payne looks after them as the caretaker of the Hudson Biological Reserve. When you have a handful of it, you don't really feel any weight or shape or anything. He suspects most of these barrels haven't been opened in 40 years as the university awaits a legitimate research project. But uh, we suspect that no one else has anything like this uh, stored around. For now, Professor Max says his department will continue to preserve the volcanic ash. It's too valuable and unique not to. There's always a need for uh, preserving material like this for questions that I and others of my generation never would have envisioned. If we lose the ash, then of course those questions can't be addressed. Interesting stuff. We'll keep you posted on that one.